ಸದಾಶಿವಸಮಾರಂಭಾಚಾರ್ಯಮಧ್ಯಮಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯಪರ್ಯಂತಾಂ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರಾಂ ಪೇಜ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಒನ್ ನೈಷ್ಕರ್ಮ್ಯ ಸಿದ್ಧಿ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಲೈನ್ ಅನುಬಂಧೋಕ್ತಿ ಅಥೈವಮಿ ಮದ್ವಚನ ನಾದ್ರಿಯಸೇ ಸ್ವಯಮೇವೈತಸ್ಮರೀರಾತ್ ಅಶುಚಿರಾಶೇ ನಿರಾಶೋ ಭವಿಷ್ಯಸಿ ಸುರೇಶ್ವರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಟ್ರೈಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ದ ಮುಕ್ಷು ದಿ ಸಾಧಕ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಎಸಿಮ್ಯುಲೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಹಾವಾಕ್ಯ to internalize the mahavakya we need the guidance of acharyas however however much we are qualified in our academics we may be a great post graduates or doctorates however much we have any other education but when it comes to vedanta we have to take the help of vedanta acharyas <clears throat> so all our acharyas are very compassionate out of their compassion they elaborately explain in detail manner sureshwara acharya said since ignorance is the cause for samsara all mental turbulences and all misconceptions for all our worries only one reason is said that is our own self ignorance this diagnosis first we have to diagnose the problem our upanishads have diagnosed and given that atma gnanam eva is the solution self knowledge is the solution to remove self ignorance that means the self ignorance caused turbulence misconception worries all will go away only by self knowledge that self knowledge also only through mahavakya each word is very important that mahavakya here acharya has taken tattvam asi mahavakya tat tvam asi tat that paramatma you have to understand very clearly what is ishwara's nature and tvampada also what do you mean by you are you are that when upanishad says tvam means you you means what try to analyze this if you are not able to analyze i will help you how to analyze acharya says tvampada vichara he is analyzing in this portion that means about individual nature in spite of listening many times even in bhagavad gita first six, six chapters is talking about tvampada vichara only but that is not the sufficient because you require further more analysis tvampada vichara you are means what exactly normally what we take you are so where we have started where we have come self ignorance has to be removed self knowledge is required self knowledge is possible through mahavakya 
ದಟ್ ಮಹಾವಾಕ್ಯ ತತ್ವಮಸಿ ಮಹಾವಾಕ್ಯ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ತತ್ವಮಸಿ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ತ್ವಂಪದ ವಿಚಾರ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ತ್ವಂಪದ ವಿಚಾರ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಬಾಡಿ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಯು ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಬಿಗ್ಗೆಸ್ಟ್ ಮಿಸ್ಕನ್ಸೆಪ್ಷನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಮಿಸ್ಕನ್ಸೆಪ್ಷನ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಕಾಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆಲ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಸ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಬಾಡಿ physical body why you are having this much attachment towards this physical body do you know what is your body have you analyzed any time you stand in front of the mirror and you apply lot of perfumes costumes powder snow etc etc but have you asked any time what is this body every day you give bath every day you give food every day you uh, give this rest by sleeping how many things you are doing to this body my dear but have you thought of the nature of the body any time you don't i know that acharya says i know that because you are attached to the body because you don't have vairagyam towards body because vairagya is one of the main prerequisite quality qualification for moksha jnana yogyata some the lacking you know vairagyam is not there where with regard to the body deha abhimana is there for you why deha abhimana is there identity with the body attachment with the body so much you are having because you do not know what it is exactly what it is exactly so deha abhimana is inbuilt for every person by birth that deha abhimana naturally grows you need not do anything separately to nourish deha abhimana it is natural but uh, if you analyze its nature you will see its uh, limitations deha ninda deha stuti both are done in our shastra all the time shastra does stuti and ninda both <coughs> criticism is ninda stuti means glorification glorification and uh, criticism both are done uniformly why when it is doing ninda when it is doing stuti shastra says acharyas are telling all of them are telling when you have lot of uh, um, attachment towards deha that time shastra does deha ninda ninda is not for nindartham parantu anya stutyartham criticism is not for criticism sake criticism is for the sake of praising something else criticism of anatma deha physical body is not just for criticism anatma criticism deha criticism is to praise the glory of atma ninda न तो निंदार्थम परंतु अन्य स्तुत्यर्थम सो देह निंदा प्रबोध कुसुमाकरम दैट बुक आई सेड लास्ट क्लास आई सेड बाय मिस्टेक लिप स्लिप 50th श्लोक आई सेड इंस्टेड ऑफ सेइंग 50th पेज ओके इट इज नॉट 50th श्लोक एंड आई वाज टेकिंग 10th श्लोक Uh, by mistake i said 50th shloka okay don't confuse that is only 50th page now we are in 51st page so prabodha sukusumakaram deha ninda one prakaranam is there i said when you have attachment towards body shastra does deha ninda suppose some people have lot of uh, diffidence looking down upon oneself self pity and um, inferiority complex lot of uh, negativity towards one's body it is there 
then shastra says deham is a tool for you it is an instrument manasai veda aptavyam through mind alone you can get refined mind dwara eva so it is praised body is praised mind also praised by acharyas and shastra when when you have um, we are looking down at the body when you have aversion towards body therefore stuti ninda both are done in shastra same body now he is doing ninda when you are having attachment same body is praised glorified as vibhuti and it is a means to attain to claim i am brahman both are okay from standpoint so therefore now this tvampada vichara time you deha is also included you are including the body deha abhimana goes away again you get vairagyam because of vairagyam towards body 50% of problem is solved once deha abhimana goes away because deha abhimana leads to putra abhimana putri abhimana grah abhimana all abhimana comes afterwards once deha abhimana alone leads to family abhimana so therefore people want to detach from the family i am a vedantic student i don't want family i don't want children i don't want grandchildren you don't tell that so family abhimana is you need not avoid you avoid first deha abhimana once you drop deha abhimana family abhimana putra putri all abhimana anuraga will go away please don't mistake here abhimana is different and uh, taking care of family children is different anuraga abhimana there are obstacles family children they are not obstacles by themselves at any time when they are obstacle when you have over attachment when you depend upon them for your security for your emotional uh, security you depend upon them then that is an obstacle family members family kutumbam is not an obstacle as it is but your misconception your wrong perception towards family members is the cause for problem please correct yourself don't hate any member of the family they are uh, not doing anything <laughs> really speaking unfortunately we look at them i want to go to ashrama i want to be free from all these people like that people think problem is you solution is you only that is why here acharya is asking atha evam api in spite of my explanation this much about this body mad vachanam my words na adriya se if you are not uh, uh, hearing to me or not accepting my words then what will happen one day you yourself swayameva one day you yourself sharirat asuchirashehi from this body which is very 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 defective it has got a lot of defects asuchirashehi from this body you will uh, have will get uh, that vairagyam nirashaha bhavishyasi nirashaha means viragam viragi bhavati viragi means you will get vairagyam here nirashaha means not uh, disappointment only disappointment uh, means uh, why i have depended uh, i have got lot of dependence on this body on this body how much i have done how much i have taken care of this body but still knee pain eye pain to take this ek that ek so many problems are coming and uh, uh, future old age also is giving many problems 
अशुचिराशेहि निराशे भविष्यसी एव बै युवर सेल्फ यू गेट दट वैराग्यम इफ यू डोंट लिजन टू मी ये तस्मा शरीरा सी दैट ये तस्मा फ्रॉम दिस बॉडी दट्स वे लॉर्ड कृष्णा सेड इन भगवद्गीता इदम शरीर कौंते क्षेत्र मिथ्यधीयते इदम शरीर इदम मीन दिस् बॉडी दिस् युवर ओन बॉडी यू विल गेट भविष्य सी लुट फ्यूचर टेन्स यू विल गेट डेफिनेटली वाट वैराग्यम टूवर्ड्स युवर बॉडी दैट इज वै इन ओल्ड एज लाइफ एंड ऑफ दस्ट लाइफ स्पैन पीपल आस्क वै ई एम लिविंग वै भगवान इज नाट टेकिंग मी वै ही इज स्टिल कीपिंग मी अलाइव लाइक दैट पीपल क्वेश्चन बिकॉज दे आर नाट एबल टू मैनेज विद दिस बॉडी सो यू यू आर टयर्ड ऑफ बै दैट टाइम नाव ही इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन फर्दर how this body is so uh, much of ashuchi defective manya seta vadasmi ti yavadasman yavadasman naniyase shwabhikrodi krute dehe naivam tvam abhimamsyase very difficult to listen this shlokas because that extent sureshwaracharya is going um, by listening itself you feel you know, some frightening you know he is frightening us he is frightening what uh, this body is such until yavat as long as first line 13th shloka first line yavat as long as asmana niyase this jeevatma you are not separating from this body from this physical body as long as you are you the jeevatma is not separated from the body you are what you are तवत् अस्मी मे यू टेक् दिस् बॉडी एज युवर सेलफ एज लांग एज यू वोट टेक् औट थ्रू वैराग्यम थ्रू विवेक थ्रू शास्त्र ऐ एम नाट दिस् बॉडी दिस् बॉडी ईज ऊटर शेल इट ईज लाइक ए वाट हि सेड स्रग् लेपनम हि सेड इन द प्रीवियस् वर्स माला लाइक वन यू वेर माला एट आगमा पाई फ्रेश माला यू वेर फ्लवर् गार्लैंड सपोज आफ्टर वर्ड्स वाट यू विल ड्रॉप दैट बिकॉज इट फ्लवर्स विल ड्रई अवे एंड फ्रैग्रेंस विल गो अवे इट विल फेड अवे एंड यू विल थ्रो इट यू विल नाट पुट इट यू विल थ्रो इट लाइक दैट दिस बॉडी इज आलो when the baby is so cute and so sweet oh, my son my son my daughter when they are walking learning you no know, steps very in words also then we are uttering so happy parents are happy mother grandparents are also happy as they grow and grow and becoming older and older you see the distance increasing between father and children distance increasing between uh, every relation for that matter tavat asmi iti deham asmi iti dehaha asmi iti manyase you consider you have to supply dehaha aham asmi iti manyase you consider as long as you are living in this body you don't um, leave the abhimana on this body identity with the body once you die away and leave this body you do not know whether you have abhimana you don't have abhimana so by living itself you have to know that but people do not know that tavat until that time देह अहमस्मी मे यू आर् थिंकिंग दट यू आर् द बॉडी यू आर् द बॉडी बिकाज इट इस वेरी अप्रॉक्सीमेट क्लोज 
but he says in second line you see once this body is dead uh, what happens he is talking about a sannyasi uh, body not ordinary human householder body here sannyasi bodies they are not uh, supposed to be cremated they have to be buried so one those days uh, uh, burying the sannyasi body means throwing in the river or uh, um, throwing in the forest or putting in the mud like that they used to do because um, antyeshti karma for normally for grihasthas other than sanyasi um, antyeshti karma antya ishti it is also a type of yaga according to our one of the samskara it is last yaga that fire ritual since he left the body he cannot perform himself householder cannot perform himself with that uh, ritual of antyeshti so on behalf of him the son or daughter nowadays daughters are also performing so son or daughter whoever uh, is um, um, adhikari to do that karma they um, lit the fire there cremation for in sanyasi case they throw the body or uh, sometimes they mutilate cut the body and uh, throw in to the birds to eat like that also they do but here dog uh, example acharya taking shwabhi krodi krute dehe once that body is dropped um, that becomes a dead body corpse it is shwabhi means by dogs krodi krute snatched by the dogs this deha dead body naivam tvam abhimansyase at that time only your abhimana will go away so after death whether abhimana is there or not uh, how do you know you do not know but while living itself you should know this body is left the prana goes away this body dead body will be taken by dogs or any other animal you want to eat shwabhihi by dogs krodi krite means snatched away it uh, um, brings all the um, what you can call mutilated body limbs and all together because it wants more food it is so hungry suppose suppose na it is hungry to it is want to eat evam na tvam abhimansyase you will not think that i am the body at that time. if you know that how you consider see this anna karyam now that anna karyam modification of food it is in different from three idlis and lunch dinner changed like this nambave mudile swamini this body but nicely covered with skin and that skin we are putting another skin like dress and covering more and more with lot of uh, colorful dress that also to develop more abhimana <laughs> to develop more abhimana that is why in vanaprastha ashrama normally in they wear white dress or single color one color without designs without uh, much matching and all that's why why sanyasi wearing always saffron 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 it represents that tyaga give up deha abhimana deha abhimana tyagaha like that even not only sanyasi even whoever wants they can wear because if you wear same dress every day you don't get any abhimana on dress already deha abhimana is there dress abhimana also edukena that is why they wear one color dress i am not asking you to wear just i am telling how to reduce abhimana as a vadi paakano next shloka continuation of the same topic shira akramya padena bharsya yatya paranshunih shunaha 
दृष्ट्वा साधारण देहम कस्मा सक्तोसी तत्र भो भो दट एड्रेसिंग द स्टूडेंट सीकर भो हाउ कैन यू हेव दिस टाइप ऑफ मिसकनसेप्शन कस्मा सक्त आसी तत्र on this deha which is nothing but modification of this annam how can you have this abhimana it this is anumana um, that means through inference this is whole thing is inference next he goes to shruti from next verse so shruti and anumana by inference you can see how much body is suffering in others bodies also you can see therefore shiraha akramya what this dog does first on the dead body it does uh, um, before uh, death uh, everybody calls he or she he she he she and uh, after uh, uh, death uh, once it becomes corpse uh, dead body it they call it is na uh, huh? even father's body mother's body grandfather's body grandmother's body huh? they don't call grandmother they don't call grandfather they don't call mother or father they call this body it is when you take that body in when you take my father they don't say when you take that body that body you know that is the vyavahara <laughs> in world this dog is so happy now shiraha akramya first padena by its foot it put it foot one foot on the um, head of that dead body hmm? akramya because no one should come and take it why it is keeping it like this is my property this is my property i am going to eat this body this is my food no one should come i am the owner of this body dog is telling okay shiraha the head of that dead body akramya padena by the foot it is occupying and it is taking the ownership on that not only that bhasya yati aparan shunaha other dogs if they come nearby suppose they also want to eat they are also hungry other dogs but other dogs when they trying to approach this dog towards that body what this dog does barks it shouts barks so no violently and uh, you cannot imagine the sound because in its territory no one should come dogs are having all other species share the food normally this uh, crow and other birds uh, when we put uh, rice for uh, no the birds um, squirrel also come and eat crow also come and eat and uh, cuckoo also come and eat woodpecker also come and eat many birds come and eat they share the food but you see the dog it will never allow the other dog to come and eat hmm, to share that bharsyati means it barks aparan shunaha drishtva so दृष्टवा साधारण देहम सिमिलरली सिमिलरली यू सी द केस ऑफ ह्यूमन बीइंग साधारण मींस दैट व्हिच बिलोंग्स टू एवरीवन सीइंग द बॉडी एज द कॉमन प्रॉपर्टी कॉमन प्रॉपर्टी दृष्टवा साधारण देहम इट बिलोंग्स टू एवरीवन दैट इज व्हाई चिल्ड्रन अंटिल Uh, you write the will the property distribution they say my father my father my mother my mother's property my father property they say na no? my father my mother and uh, after death also they do shraddha karma and all that is why your body is not belong to you it belongs to common it is common property for everyone family property it is like and office people also claim uh, house you know our servants also my boss uh, my like that they claim this body is like that drishtva sadharanam deham kasmat saktaha asi why you are so attached 
asaktaha means attached why you are so much attached to tatra sharire tatra means sharire on this body therefore may you not have asakti on this body that is the idea but when you develop too much aversion what taitri upanishad says kushala anna pramaditavyam may you never neglect your body says upanishad hmm? that is both are there in the upanishad next shloka introduction verse number 15 introduction shruti paripraapitah ayam arthah anatma buddhyaadi dehantah ididamah now shruti support until now anumana by inference by seeing this body growth out of annam and uh, it uh, that annam only modified into varchas kam visa fecus that uh, excretions all that is annam modification only you have aversion towards that but this anna karyam on body how can you have attachment when you have detachment towards that varchaskam which is nothing but annam modification only you are having aversion towards your own excretion but the same modification of that body annam this body but towards this body you are having attachment that is the anumana until now that is over now the shruti also support how this body is anna karyam that shruti is chandogya upanishad keeping in the mind acharya is writing shruti paripraapitah ayam arthah ayam arthah means same idea what i said body is anna karyam i said keeping this idea alone i have received from the shastra paripraapitah we have received this um, idea from ayam arthah same meaning same ayam arthah means dehaha anna karyam iti body is uh, the product of food shruti paripraapitah we got this from the shruti care of chandogya upanishad 6th chapter 5th section first mantra that mantra is available na atma buddhyanta dehantah iti idam aha atma is not the deha buddhi aadi subtle body that's a buddhi aadi padat mind sense organs and deha from buddhi indriya and up to deha sthula shariram iti idam aha thus it is said in the upanishads upanishad also here buddhi means mind we can take aadi padat sense organs we can take then up to dehantah means up to physical body up to here also it is anna karyam only shruti support is there what is that shruti mantra uh, in sadvidya it comes anna mashitam tredha vidhiyate tasya yaha sthavishtah dhatuhu tat purisham bhavati yo madhyastam tasma mamsam madhyastam tan mamsam yo anishtam tan manaha this is the mantra 651 now in this shloka sureshwara acharya presents uh, that idea of chandogya independently in his words i will read 15th verse bhusavrihi palalam shaihi bijamekam tridhayatha बुद्धिमां सपुरीशांशपुरीशांश अन्न तद्वस्थित दर् इज वन करेक्शन इन द फस्ट लाइन फलांशो इज देर बट देर इज 
uh, only palalam shaihi it is you need not have two lines after shakara one line is extra is there you can delete that palalam shaihi what uh, acharya want to say one seed modifies into three one seed bijam ekam ekam bijam tridha bhavati ekam bijam any seed tridha three yatha just as bijam the seed ekam bijam one seed tridha in three types in it becomes three various parts three tridha and three ways three types what are they number one is um, vrihi busa and palalamsha vrihi means rice dhanyam grain busa means husk and palalamsha means the stalk that is bran that which is the pith of that um, grass grain so one seed has become um, all these three it can take any other seed also one seed alone can become leaf and can become fruit it can become flower first and then fruit so one seed alone how one seed can become all this one seed alone can become stem one seed alone can become trunk and branch and leaf and all flowers and fruits etc etc how how is it possible yatha possible we are seeing in our life yatha bhavati tadha tad tadvat tadvat like that here also here also buddhi mamsa purishamshah annam avasthitam annam avastha means that food which you have consumed it has got three ingredients one gross ingredient of the food once you take any food idli or dosa or chapati or rice whatever you take your regular food it is uh, um, um, taken the three, three stages you know, one part three parts one part of the food what which is consumed food after digestion it is converted into um, excretion fecus waste matter that is thula amsha thula amsha is gross which does not have any nutrition it's go waste it goes waste that is called fecus matter after eating every day ablutions when you do you are uh, Uh, leaving the excretion that is what nothing but gross matter which is not useful to your body it goes out that is called sthula amsha of that food it goes out then second one is um, um, that is called purisham here purishamsha means sthula amsha excretion part it goes that is the first one then second amsha is um, sukshma amsha what is sukshma amsha that which has got carbohydrates sodium iron chemicals lot of chemicals are there if supplementary you apply if you don't have in that food um, doctors they give supplementary you know? medicines you take this you are not getting food in the food so you take from outside some medicines sodium na. some sodium imbalance is there no person started uh, some type of diseases comes because of certain uh, chemicals uh, um, once a person doesn't have that chemicals sodium is not there <laughs> the person get prattling in okay on uh, even depression the sodium imbalance is the cause for depression they are telling hmm? when the sodium is less uh, chemical imbalance in the brain disturbs the mind like that so very close to the modern science 
so here that is called um, mamsam mamsam means flesh uh, blood uh, bone marrow all this uh, um, um, carbohydrates how you get from this subtlest uh, part uh, in subtle part subtle part of that food nourishes the gross body sukshma amsha of the food nourish carbohydrates nutrition all will nourish the gross body that is sukshma amsha sthula amsha of the food goes away out and sukshma amsha subtle part of the food gives a lot of you know, bone strength um, muscle strength lot of hemoglobin in the blood everything and we know that i need not tell you you are all experts every day we take care of food and the kira saapunuma idi saapunuma adi saapunama idi saapunuma enda vitamin edile irukke teedi teedi vari saapunuma adu andha maadhiri so then this is the second ingredient of the food it converted idli has to be converted into blood dosa has to be converted into the the calcium has to be converted into the bones strengthening how d vitamin calcium vitamin, all these are required mercury so many what one or two so many my god hmm? that is why taking care of this physical body maintaining good health is a, a big project it is not easy and either you take one side uh, one part of the body other part sometimes i am also there and uh, some problem it prop up again hmm? as very very difficult mm-hmm. that every one of us knows that okay then uh, sukshma tara amsha buddhi buddhi means uh, here mind character character of a person depend upon the subtlest ingredient of that food which is consumed the subtlest part of the food goes to the mind that is uh, very very important somebody told puru puja swami ji swami ji garlic is very good doctors are telling if you take garlic all germs will go away from your stomach na then swami ji said people also will go away from that person who ever eat garlic and <laughs> you cannot go near to that person and not only germs people also go away from him garlic that is modern people are telling but shastra never accept kalanjam na bhakshaye the shastra says those days who ever eat garlic they used to keep out of that adigrahara he cannot come inside that is why whoever eat garlic you cannot go near to that person that too much smell comes hmm? that is why krishna said in bhagavad gita 17th chapter sattvic food uh, onion garlic coffee tea all pungents stringents everything you have to drop because it uh, uh, influence your mind sattvic aaharam lord krishna said Yes, you have to influence your thoughts also what you eat that is your mind but tongue control is difficult for people very very difficult hmm? tongue does two jobs all sense organ does only one job tongue does two jobs so talking tongue and eating tongue hmm? two jobs very very difficult to avoid the taste that's why taste part our people never bother because any how it goes waste only you know the taste part only up to taste part is waste part you know? taste part we are very much um, give important to that only but our people will say is it good for my mind they think that's why buddhi it is said buddhi means mind we can take here tadvat avasthitam <coughs> just as one seed converted into three parts three ingredients like husk bran and grain similarly our food also uh, converted into three ingredients like uh, sthula amsha sukshma amsha sukshma tara amsha sukshma tara amsha goes to the mind 
convert mind as thoughts and all uh, it influence the rajasic mind tamasic mind sattvic sattvic food sattvic mind rajasic food rajasic mind tamasic food tamasic mind care of 17th chapter so sukshmata so finally what shruti also says that your body is nothing but suk stola shariram puri shamsham goes waste and that annam and sukshma amsha of annam helps to for blood flesh and bones and sukshma tar amsha is converted that green ingredient into the mind now tell me is in mind buddhi and the blood and flesh and that purisham that um, vachaskam that um, excretion went out all the three uh, ingredients are what they are they are nothing but food what you have eaten you know this uh, don't know we don't know all these three only chandogya upanishad says that is the idea now um, we will go to the 19th verse sorry 16th verse introduction with this shastra pramana is over again he is coming back to anumana pramanam that varchaskam he is not leaving that varchaskam okay hmm? yathoktartha pratipattau satyam na ragadvesha abhyam vikriyate vipaschit iti asya arthasya pratipattaye drishtantah pratipattaye drishtantah why we have to study about our own body idu nanna serial varadanna cricket match na nanna irukum swamini enna idellame kashtama irukena kashtam illa idu unmai satyamana vishayam we have to learn understand so even though there is no uh, ruchi in this that much taste like cereal or anything so people are uh, always uh, uh, some relaxation entertainment recreation they love no? all the time it is natural nothing wrong in that we can see some nice movie nice serial nice cricket match everything whatever you like you can have recreation but the more you go extrovert towards uh, anatma and you develop uh, abhimana towards anatma that is why recreation also too much recreation is dangerous mind needs relaxation that is true but it does not mean you always enjoy revel in recreation uh, that means you are giving utmost importance to anatma you are trying to nourish your misconceptions ignorance so where is the time for you to oh, study shastra then kalo gachati dhimatam kavya shastra vinodena kalo gachati dhimatam wise people always spend their time in shastra they never waste recreation is also there it is only for a naam ke vasti it is only temporary or sometime few minutes few hours that's all not all the time even shastra itself is a recreation for wise people what is wise uh, paramarthananda swami says the shastra is like a halwa when you want to ask me to sit in the room uh, 30 days continuously and give food in from the window i'll sit in the room and read continuous my studies now it is like a halwa and puja swami ji dayananda swami ji also used to say life long uh, as long as there is a breath in my you know my body i want to teach shastra even lying down time also i would like to teach shastra that is love for shastra why love for shastra na its glory its importance significance it gives joy that's what panchadashi kara vidyaranya swami says aho shastram aho shastram aho guru aho guru that is the greatness of shastra 
the more you study shastra those who love shastra that uh, shastra itself is the recreation for them nothing else they revel in shastra it is like a cricket match it is like a serial for common normal people serial eppadiyo shastram appadi reading a lot of shastra work books and all gives joy anyhow now he says yatha ukta arthah pratipattau pratipatti means jnanam to get that about knowledge given deha vimana to drop analysis of deha um, use and throw you should know how to use it and throw it i told you know, that cup drink gnanam payasam and throw the cup body yatha ukta arthah as said above pratipatto for that gnanam gnanam satyam once the knowledge comes after listening this much gnanam comes satya means when such a knowledge is there in the mind what knowledge what is this body body is just made out of food gross mat gross part converted into waste part and uh, subtle part of food converted into blood and bones flesh and uh, subtlest part of food is converted into mind and thoughts so this body is nothing but anna karyam you understand then what will happen sureshwara acharya expecting pam in uh, by these uh, shlokas above mentioned shlokas the student will get a lot of vairagyam towards this body hmm? vairagyam towards this body means dropping the abhimana towards this body ragadveshabhyam vik na vikriyate so there is no raga and dvesha neither attachment towards the body nor aversion towards the body na vikriyate he will not get any type of uh, um vikriya means modifications in his mind ragadveshabhyam na vikriyate he will not be disturbed by neither by attachment nor aversion when he gets this knowledge vipaschit wise person <coughs> iti asya arthasya pratipattaye to get this knowledge further suppose you have by this time you have to get little bit at least abhimana drop towards the body hmm? at least if not pratipattaye for that gnana ya drishtantah the following example is given further hmm, to develop what viraga towards the body how what is that drishtanta <coughs> varchaske samparityakte doshatashchavadharadharite यदि दोषं वदेत् तस्मै किं तत्रो चरितुर्भवेत् वेरी नाइस वे ऑफ लुकिंग एट थिंग्स यू सी बाय स्टडीइंग आचार्यस बुक्स लाइक दिस यू लर्न हाउ टू लुक एट वन हाउ टू थिंक अबाउट दैट ही सेस वर्चस्के samparityakti once you drop your excretion fecus motion urine you drop you leave every day every person has to do otherwise you will be in casualty okay once urine block na so immediately you have to go to casualty i see you na urine is not passing from few hours na over that's all the case is so serious an artham motion is also not passing na so the baby if she uh, baby won't pass motion parents are so much worried hmm? and they struggle that baby has to pass motion urine etc like that every human being every day they have to pass urine and motion otherwise person will be in casualty doctor will come and say i see you i see you i see you because you are in icu intensive intensive care unit 
therefore doctor has to come to see you every day he say i see you enna solvar i see you i will see you tomorrow anna because you are in icu therefore i will see you anna enna the urine is not passing and then they put to tubes through tubes they take out hmm? all the kidney problems we are seeing nowadays no many many people are suffering with that uh, urinary bladder infections so many things hmm? piles uh, fistulas so many complaints all uh, navarandhas complete problems in nenchukongale okay varchas ke samparityakte once you drop leave the motion or urine what happens doshaha tascha avadharite you look at that as dosha impurity yeah? motion is impurity you look at that you know, with aversion only not having attachment like a crow drop when crow drop comes just you no you don't love oh crow drop and you do you have any attachment with that huh? every drop that uh, crow drop nam drop and uh, our vachas come also dosha avadharita you consider it as dosha only and yadi dosham vadet tasmai anybody see that vachas come is food uh, modification only and other people also you are also looking it as a dosha uh, impurity and other people are also seeing it as dosha impurity but same anna modification this body when other people look at it as a dosha you know, some doshas they look in, uh, at you towards this body why you are so much disturbed <coughs> why you are so much disturbed that motion what you have dropped you are looking it as a impurity other people also looking it as a impurity is it not similarly this anna karyam dehaha also if they look at this body with some dosha why you are so much disturbed that anya karyam doshaha this anna karyam also this shariram also some dosha some people talk about your body some dosha why you are so annoyed you need not that's what he says edi dosham vadet tasmai towards that varchaskam it is dosha uh, just as you see the dosha towards this body also anybody says kim tatra ucharitru bhavet why you are so annoyed why you are so disturbed why your uh, um that discarded part just like that only this part also therefore don't feel anybody criticize your body also so what they are criticizing only anna karyam anna dosham edi dosham la therefore you need not feel that is why gnani is never feel if anyone insult also whom they are insulting whom they are insulting అన్న కార్యం దే ఆర్ ఇన్సల్టింగ్ దే ఆర్ ఇన్సల్టింగ్ ద ఇడ్లీ చపాతి దోసే దిస్ బాడీ హుచ్ ఈజ్ నథింగ్ బట్ అన్న కార్యం దే ఆర్ క్రిటిసైజింగ్ లెట్ దమ్ క్రిటిసైజ్ దే ఆర్ హ్యాపీ వైల్ క్రిటిసైజింగ్ మన నిందయ ఏది పరితోషయతి ఇఫ్ దే ఆర్ హ్యాపీ బై క్రిటిసైజింగ్ మీ లెట్ దమ్ క్రిటిసైజ్ సిమిలర్లీ నెక్స్ట్ శ్లోక ఆల్సో తద్వసూక్ష్మే తూలే దేహి త్యక్ బాడీ మైండ్ కాంప్లెక్స్ స్థూల dehi sukshma dehi once you have chakta chakta means tekti tekti sati tatha tad tadvat means as above said uh, shloka that varchaskam you are also seeing dosha they are also looking it as dosha are you are you criticizing those people when they are looking at your purisham where is a dosha impurity are you criticizing them 
you are not criticizing them you are not uh, uh, telling them why you are telling my virtues come as impure uh, you are not fighting with them you are also looking it is impure he is also looking at the at the impure similarly tadvat sukshme tadvat sukshme means in the subtle body tatha sthula dehe in this uh, mind also annakaryam gross body is also annakaryam you have dropped your uh, attachment because of vivekataha by attending naishkarma siddhi class okay vivekataha tyakte then dosham vadet tabhyam they talk about any dosha about sthula deha and sukshma deha mind and body etc vidushaha tatra kim bhave for wise person what will happen nothing will happen because he knows that nature of the body very nice to listen but uh, implement slowly gradually more in the next class om purnamada purnamidam purnat purnamudachyate purnasya purnamadaya purnameva vasishyate ओम शांति 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 हरि ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नमः हरि ओम